Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I have prepared from the syllabus of AZ Thinot Z Thinot 5. As in my previous video and in shorts, I told you that I am going to prepare for renewal assessment because it is around one year when I have cleared AZ Thinot 5 exam. And now it is the time of renewal all of the my assessment. So today I will go to the AZ 104 assessment exam. So let's talk about AZ Thinot 5 renewal assessment exam in this exam you need to have a preparation of some uh, you know uh, questions and there is the syllabus mentioned in the docs.microsoft.com from there you can prepare for each topic and after that you can go through this assessment this is a kind of assessment not an exam so there is no time limit and there were around 26 questions in this assessment also, in this assessment, it, they just want to know whether you remember uh, your concept or not. So there is no much hectic and you can easily uh, prepare for this. Learn.microsoft.com then I log in and I find out that there are a few trainings through which I can crack this exam. So first of all, I have gone through design a data storage solution for relational and design a data storage solution for non-relational data then the describe high availability and disaster recovery strategies design and azure compute solution design and application architecture after going through all these session i have gone through design network solutions design data integration so one by one i have gone through all the study material where i have gone through how we can design data storage solution for non-relational and relational data and my main focus was on pricing of the database how is is equal pricing is going to be varied so this is a very important topic and from here you can go through the purchase mode and then your compute trial and service trial here we have v code and serverless compute hyperscale and standard series this is a very important topic i think you if you are going to prepare either 305 then you must be aware then I have gone through some practice exam. I always prefer to go AZ 304 before going to the AZ 305 and also AZ 104. After going through this, this kind of session, and there is one more tutorial that I want to focus on that is the visualized real time sensor data from Azure IoT Hub. What is the difference between renewal assessment and main exam? For example, in my previous video, I mentioned that I am going to having a renewal assessment. So once you have cleared your exam, for example, you have cleared AZ 305 or AZ 104 after one year, Microsoft ask you to renew your certification. So for that, they will ask you to go through some assessment. So don't be confused because main exam is completely different from the renewal assessment. It is just a kind of assessment and questions are around 26 questions they are having. They also give you the syllabus from where you can prepare for your assessment. Also, the second difference is that there is no any kind of time limit, but if you are going to prepare for your renewal assessment, I, I suggest you should go through at least seven days before or one month before because you need to re-attempt after 48 hours. It is going to be lock your account. So if you are thinking that, okay, today is 9th May and I need to renew my assessment till 12th May. So you can't go through the same if you failed in your first attempt then for your second attempt you need to wait for 24 hours so that's why i told you to having you know buffer time of around one week or three four days before whenever you are going for a renewal assessment until unless you are not confident that you will clear this assessment in your first attempt so 
it is mandatory if everywhere uh, every year they will give you chance to renew your certification so it is mandatory to go through these renewal assessment so last year i have cleared my exam but now this year i have gone through renewal assessment i have already cleared some of my assessment only is it one note four and da 100 is left so i will uh, you know uh, share my tips for those exams also 